And uh, just like that, we're, we're back again. Uncle Bokow in the freaking building. What do I got here? What do I got? What do I got? Anybody ever had this before? Comment below if you have had this sauce. This is pick a pepper sauce. <clears throat> what am I going to eat it on? Brisket Chuck Burger. So this is a, a, it's a Jamaican sauce. Um, they make some other ones that I have never tried. Mango and some other ones. This used to be in the stores. I used to see it all the time. I bought it once, I believe. I can I'm going to tell you the story. Don't worry. I, I told the story uh, not too long back. So, let's get this going. Let's get this going on here. Got a little plug on the top, you know, from, yeah, there you go. Slather that son of a gun on there. If it ain't sauced, it ain't right. So, the story on this sauce. Back in 93, 94, I don't know, one of those years. We had went camping up in the Adirondack Mountains, a place called Good Luck Lake. <clears throat> you can get there two ways. Hike back in, or you can take a canoe through the little channels, little streams, where there's some sandbars you have to get out and pull the canoe over. Sometimes beaver dams, you have to do the same thing. Um, but when you're bringing heavy stuff, that's the way to go, because it takes you to the lake, and you don't have to carry so much. Anyways, we did not have a boat that time we went up. It was just a small crew of us. Uh, there was a little grill grate hanging on the tree. and People would always leave a grill grate behind. And, you know, we've left them. And, uh, just so it's for the next person. I had this big London broil with me. This big, huge, thick steak thing. And I uh, had no really no clue how I was going to cook or what I was going to do. But I had... Barbecue sauce, and someone else might have brought that, but I had a bottle of this. I bought it, never tried it. So I took the, there was a big fire pit, we had a big fire going. I took one of the stones away and flicked coals into another little fire pit that I built off of it with smaller rocks. Flicked coals there, put that grate on top, cooked that steak, and it cooked very slow on them coals. And every time I'd flip it, I'd hit it with some of this on one side, then the barbecue sauce, then this, then barbecue. Then I had a little, reserved a little bit of this for, for afterwards. Never tried it in my life. That thing was so tender and so good, I was impressed, majorly. It's almost like a steak sauce. Um, however, I think they do market it as a hot sauce. That's all right. I make my black garlic slathering sauce, my the one with the truffles in it. Summer truffles. Um, and that's made like a hot sauce. That one has balsamic vinegar, garlic, but it's black garlic, hot peppers, truffles. This stuff is slamming. Comment below if you've ever had this stuff. It's in the hot sauce section. It's not with the steak sauces. So, I bought it that time. And then, I don't remember, maybe once afterwards, way back. Then, I've seen it in the stores. In the grocery stores for years, and I don't I don't know why I just never never bought it even though it's good. Um, I do make my own steak sauce though. So I thought about it not too long back, and I was looking for it in the stores, and now I'm looking for it. Stores don't carry it, but I found this in the Jamaican section of the International Food Mart, which is a, it's an Asian market, but it's international. They have a whole row of Jamaican food and Turkish and everything. They even have an American food section, lamest one ever. <laughs> they
they have the Spanish and, you know, the Indian. So, it's cool stuff. I like going there. And, uh, I bought some other sauces that weren't too impressive. Some scotch bonnet sauces. There's a preservative in the lime juice that they use. Throws the taste off. Well, I got my own scotch bonnet sauce in the works right now. And, uh, that's going to be, it's going to be Monster Mash, but made with scotch bonnets, scotch brains, stuff like that. Wow. You guys want a solid steak sauce? I mean, you put this on a Philly cheesesteak, hamburger, a um, whole bunch of stuff like that. See, I'm, I put it all over the burger, and I'm still putting more on it. Really good flavor. I can't see the ingredients. My my eyesight is way too shot. If you can take a screenshot, go for it. Yep, pick a pepper. I'll be gone. Half bottle will be gone right now with this one little burger. They have so they had some other ones that said pick a pepper, and then at the bottom it said mango. And had like three. They were mango and something with something else. Maybe they're hot, mango or medium. I don't know. But uh, I'm not impressed with mango sauces, most of them. But being that this company's been around for a long time, and they did such a good job on this sauce, um. I think next time I go there, I'll grab a bottle to give it a shot. You know, that's the way it works. The reason why I don't like most mango sauces is, I don't know. For some reason they lose, you make sauce that like, mango kind of loses its flavor. Um, And I don't like mango sauce. So I don't like fermented fruit sauces. Now, I've had some that were fermented sauces that added fruit after. They were able to pull it off. It was pretty good. I just don't like fermenting fruit with my peppers. <clears throat> it gives it a kind of funkiness that I don't really care for. Um, not a big fan of it. Nope. That's why I make my pineapple sauce, bootberry sauce. Those sauces are sweet sauces. Those are, you know, that's just, this is my style. I'm not knocking anybody. Um, I've had some, some different ones that were good. That homicide had like blackberry in it. That was from uh, Ink Gardener. Wow. That was good. Omerto was good, but Omerto wasn't hot, you know. Um, <clears throat> there's that turmeric one. They have at the grocery stores now. That's got sweetness to it. It's not bad at all. So, but I'm very careful on that. Um, mixing the savory with the sweet. Uh, now, I do mix the peppers, of course. Like, my sweet sauces taste like you can taste the peppers. Because I put tons of peppers in. My stuff is fruit and peppers. That's it. <clears throat> and my savory sauces, my fermented sauces, you know, those are... Um, I like them savory and, you know, garlicky, zingy, zesty, stuff like that. Just wanted to hop on here, guys, and do a review of this because this sauce, and I wanted to tell you that story from so long ago um, and how this sauce saved the day. Way up in Adirondack Mountains, man, in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> like we hiked back in. You know, and that, and that, and not the people with me, by the way, were just went nuts. I just literally, we just kept flipping that big old London broil over. Don't ask me how it came out so tender. Maybe from this, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think I was 18, 19 back then. So I didn't have any, I really wasn't that good of a cook back then. Um, but man, it just can't, it just, it, it was phenomenal. 
I remember like that thing was like I started seeing it get real, you know, started like getting real uh, tender, and I was like, "What? Oh, this thing, this thing tendered right up." I was like, "Hey, come try this." All my whole crew came over, man. He grabbed a piece of that lemon broil, and that's the best thing. And, and the one, my friend Chris, man, he says the best. Man, it's the best piece of steak I've ever had. And let me tell you something about him. He was uh, his father was a chef. He was out. You know, out in Cali and Hawaii, his dad owned a restaurant in Hawaii. I mean, he he's been around, so he's he's a good food. Whereas most of the people from my small town, they haven't they they weren't cultured, you know. They they haven't ate a lot of stuff, and so the compliment coming from him, you know, I was like, oh, man, all right, we did it. But thank you to Pick a Peppa, yeah.